Hello guys, today I'm going to uh, talk about how to write query string and how we can pass data from controller to the view. So query strings are used to pass data in the URL. For example, if I want to pass name and age in the URL, I just have to use query string. To, query, to start a query string, we say question mark and then we give our query parameters. So my query parameters here are name and age. So I will first give name and to give a, a second parameter we have to use ampersand and then we have to give our additional parameters the second uh, query parameter is age so this is how we give our query string in a url okay now how do we get the query parameters from the url into our controller so we come back to our controller and uh, we get to that specified uh, i mean we get to that respective route handler and uh, we use function request function to get the query parameter if i want to get the query parameter i will use request function so i want to get the query parameter name so i will say request name so and if i want to get a query parameter h i will say request h now we can uh, store this uh, values in variables and uh, we can uh, send this data to our view uh, using an associative array so I'll say name and uh, uh, now we have sent the data to our view the way we display the data in our view is using double braces so uh, we have to say something like this let's see what will be the output okay oh we got an error okay that's because i did not keep dollar let's refresh okay as you can see now we displayed the data that we have sent using the url i mean the query string and we passed that data from our controller to our view and we displayed that data on the view using double braces so that's all for this tutorial folks